guys, welcome back to Indulge with Sophie. And today we're going to do Am I the Asshole? So I'm going to read you a story and I'm going to react to it. So here we go. Am I the asshole for laughing when my son came home from meeting his girlfriend's parents because he chose to behave like he does at home? My son burps a lot while eating. I have tried telling him multiple times that it's rude. I've told him to slow down so he doesn't swallow air with his food. I've told him that it is disgusting. My wife will instantly jump in to defend him. She will say that's just the way he is and that it's not his fault. The thing is he can control himself when I remind him. He just went on a date with his girlfriend last night and she tore him a new asshole. It was his first time meeting her parents since they live in another city. They went out to a fancy restaurant and he burped all the way through supper. He came home almost in tears from her chewing him out for behaving like a jackass in front of her family. I heard him telling my wife about it and I laughed. She asked what was so funny and I reminded them both that I tried dozens if not hundreds of times to treat him table manners and he rejected them and she protected him. I say that now, he is a grown man and he had to learn the hard way. They both think she overreacted and that I'm the asshole for being amused by his experience. Okay, so I don't think he's the asshole. Personally, I would have laughed at him too. And for his mom to even defend him and think that that's right, like, I wouldn't want a man burping at the table with me, especially meeting my parents for the first time and at a restaurant, like, that's childish. If my son were to burp, I'd be like, are you okay? You know? So I think his girlfriend was right. Like, that's disgusting. You're a grown man. You shouldn't be doing that. All right, we have another, am I the asshole? Let's see, okay. Am I the asshole for telling one of my daughter's classmates to fuck off about what I put in my daughter's lunch? <laughs> for some context before the story, I, 38 female, cook Asian foods regularly for dinner and for my daughter. This is because my family enjoys these foods. I like to cook these foods and my mom cooked a bunch of these foods growing up since she's half Japanese. Oftentimes, I'll either give my daughter some leftovers from last night's dinner, plus a fruit veggie and a snack, or I'll make her a quick little bento box or some other little thing really quick. So after school one day, my daughter wanted to play on the playground for a bit before we went home. I said she could play for a few minutes and she ran off to play. I was waiting next to this other parent who we'll call Deborah. While I was waiting, Deborah came up to me. Deborah, are you Lily's mother? Me? Oh yeah, I am. Why? Deborah, well, your daughter's lunches have been bothering my son. Ha! <laughs> and I would like to ask you to pack something else. First of all, Deborah can go fuck herself. Anyway, me, what? How am I bothering him? She then proceeded to ta start talking about how her son was complaining about my daughter's lunches smelling terrible and that he thought it was disgusting. She also said her son didn't eat most of his lunch because he was so grossed out. Me. Okay, I understand your son doesn't like the smell, but he can't just sit somewhere else. Deborah, are you kidding me? My son shouldn't have to put up with whatever crap you're making your daughter bring to school. It's disgusting. And she started making more vaguely racist complaints, but I was fed up at this point. She should have named her Karen instead of Deborah. first of all. Anyway, me, listen, I understand your son might not like my daughter's food, but he can very easily just not sit next to her. I'm not changing what's in my daughter's lunches because you and your kid don't want to exist near Asian food. Fuck off. She angrily stomped off with her kid then, and my daughter finished playing soon after, so we went home. I talked to my husband about it, and he said maybe I shouldn't have told her to fuck off to avoid her bothering us in the future. Am I the asshole? No, no, I think it is a privilege to be able to taste other cultures. Her son is probably getting PB and J's every day and some goldfish. Okay, fuck her and her son. All right. And the reason why I feel so strongly about that is because one time my son is a mama's boy, right? Even more so when he was little. And I went to go visit him and as soon as he saw me, he ran up to me. He's sitting on my lap and I'm just, mm, my baby, I love you. And the little boy sitting across from us was, he was like, what are you doing? 
I was like, I'm giving him love. I'm his mama. I'm like, what do you mean? He's like, my mommy doesn't do that. Sometimes she'll just say goodbye. I'm like, oh, okay. So moving onward another day, I was like, to my son, mommy's going to come see you for lunch today. And my son said, but mommy, make sure you don't give me too much love. I don't want, let's say like Brandon. I don't want Brandon to say something. I was so pissed. I said, you know what? You tell Brandon to go fuck himself. It's not your fault that his mother doesn't show him love or affection. It's not his, it's not your fault his mother doesn't love him. And my son was like, mommy, you can't say that. So next time I went to lunch, I was ready to tell little Brandon myself, go fuck you and your mom. But my son had forgotten about it. And as soon as he saw me, he was all, mommy. So yeah, Deborah can go fuck herself. Okay guys, thank you for joining me on another episode of Indulge with Sophie with our Emma the Asshole. And make sure that you like, comment, share, subscribe, and also you can send in your very own Am I the Asshole little inquiries and we can answer them on here ourselves. So thank you for joining us and we'll see you next time.